What's up guys, today we are going to create the Ad Astra movie poster. You can use your own photo for this one if you want, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure the quality isn't too bad and watch it until the end so you learn everything you know about this. So let's just jump right into it. All right, now I already removed the background from this. So if you're wondering how I did it, that was just with a pen tool, make a selection and remove the background. So let's drag this in a new file. I'm gonna make a smart object here and resize it. Now let's clean this up a little bit so we can make this better. I'm just gonna use a brush here, make a mask and just brush these parts cleaner. Now I want to create some sort of silhouette here, so I'm going to need to make this better. So I'm just going to select the smudge tool here, pick a hairbrush. I'll put this brush in the description so you can download that. It's all free brushes. Now I can rasterize this again so I can edit it and I'm just going to make like this hair popping out, so we can see it better when we make a silhouette of it. Maybe this is a little bit too much here. Like that, and All right, don't want to do it too much or else his head will just look messy. Now let's duplicate this. So I'm just press Control Command J and let's apply the layer mask. Now press Control Command U to bring up the hue and situation and bring the lightness all the way down. So we can create this silhouette. Let's clean this a little bit. And now make sure to bring it underneath the layer of the original one. Let's disable this for now and let's select this area and make sure your background is selected to black. And then press Control Command Backspace to fill it up with black. So now I have this nice silhouette that we're going to use. And this one, we need to make it black and white, so I'm just going to create a black and white adjustment layer here. Make sure to press this so we only affect the layer underneath it. And try to pick one that looks best so you can just pick one of these. Select the best one, I think this one is okay. Maybe the default one. It's gonna go for the lighter one so I can see it better. And let's drop the opacity here. Make sure it's the opacity of this layer and not the adjustment layer. All right, now I wanna fix this hair a little bit better here because it looks too soft on this point. So I'm gonna use the smudge tool again, select that brush again, bring the strength at, oh, around 70 is okay. And make sure to select this layer from the silhouette and just maybe make it smaller and make like these hairs coming out there. Right, that's better. So you can see all these hair details in this silhouette, just to make it nice. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And now we wanna get rid of this bottom part because we don't want this hard line there. So I'm just gonna go to this layer from the photo, select the mask of it, select the gradient tool, make sure you have white to black or black to white. If you don't have that, just press D on your keyboard to make it white to black and just make like this little line 
So we can create like a silhouette because we want some parts dark, some parts lighter. I don't want to see it at all. So just gonna do this a couple of times. I think this looks okay. And if you want to bring back some parts, just use a brush and lighten up some areas. Or if you want to make areas darker, just do the same, but with a black brush. So I'm gonna make a little bit darker here on this side. I'm dropping the opacity here. Don't want to do it too much. I think this looks fine for now. Right now, let's import our earth. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna select it all. So Control A or Command A on Mac and Control C to copy it. Command C. And let's put it above these layers. Press right mouse and convert to smart object. Now I wanna use it inside the silhouette, so I'm just gonna hold down control or hold down command on Mac and press on this layer from the silhouette. So we have this selection of it. Then press this mask option. So we have it inside this mask. Now I wanna disable this little lock here so we can move it inside this silhouette. And let's turn this around. I'm gonna press Ctrl T or Command T to have this and let's see how we're gonna put this. So I want this lighting area, lighter area here, so in his neck. I'm just gonna make sure it's like that. All right, that is fine. All right, now I wanna fix this so we can see his face and all. So that's just really easy. Just select this layer and change the blending mode to screen. But yes, you can see you can see the end here. So I wanna make sure this background is black and not like yellow, so you won't see that. So I'm just gonna select this layer, press Ctrl Command L to bring up the levels, select the black picker, so you can select what area you want to make black, and just click on this area and that's gone. Maybe clip a couple of times to make sure it's really gone. All right, that is fine for now. Now I want this yellow sunset to be a little bit more blue instead of yellow, so I'm gonna create a hue and saturation layer here. Select this to only affect this layer underneath it and select the yellow color here and bring it all the way down. Well, maybe leave a little bit. And now just create a new layer on top of it. Go to your brushes, select the general brush. This is just standard brushes from Photoshop. And let's pick something blue, a little bit light blue color. Make sure you have these at 100 and the hardness at zero. And let's just brush it like that and change blend mode to color. So now we have this blue color and if it's maybe a little bit too blue, I just press Ctrl U to bring up the U situation and throw the situation a little bit. So it's less less bright blue. Or if you want more color, you can bring it up. But I'm gonna bring it down so it looks better. All right, and now we need to fix this like sort of edge. So I'm just gonna select this layer, make a mask out of it, select the black brush, and just brush this part away like that. So if this nice sunset or whatever that is going on here. All right, now let's add our astronaut. Let's see where he is, here he is. If you're wondering how I remove the backgrounds also with the pen tool, just make a cut of it and remove it. Just gonna copy this, put it above all the other layers. And don't forget to make a smart object so we don't ruin the quality here. And let's see how we put this, maybe something like that. 
like it's floating in, in space there. All right, now let's fix the background. So for this background, I want to create like one side a little bit yellowish and the other side like green, light green. So I'm just gonna select this background layer, press Command or Control J to duplicate it. And let's go to the blending options. And so you double click on that layer and select gradient overlay and make sure you rotate it. So I want like this side green and this side a little bit yellow. So I'm just making sure it's like that. And now we can remove some from here because we have this white light so it doesn't look right. So I'm just going to select this layer, make a mask, select the black brush and just press here like that to make it like white. Maybe also a little bit here. I don't want to do it too much or else it will be too white. So I'm just going to do it slightly like that. All right, now these stars here, we need to fix that a little bit. So I'm just going to go to this layer from the stars. I can even make it more black. It's a little bit too yellow now. It's even better. All right, you can either remove all these stars and just import another photo of stars. Maybe that's even better. So I'm just going to press these away because it's a little bit too much to ruin this face here. So those are gone now and let's open up another one. So I'm going to use this photo for the stars. In case you're wondering, all these photos that I use are in the description. So I'll just check it out and you can download them. So I'm just copying this and let's paste it above these layers. Convert smart object and just change the blending mode to screen. And if you want to make sure you don't see them on this green area, just select the silhouette layer and hold down control. So make the selection and make a mask. And if you want to move them, make sure to disable this lock. So you move it inside this, inside this uh, mask and not the whole thing. So just gonna move them around. Let's see a little bit bigger. If you really want to make the details right, just make sure you don't have like stars here because it doesn't look right. So you can always just brush some parts away. I'm just gonna do it like this. So we have a little bit of stars and let's bring up the levels. So make sure this black is really black. That's fine. And we can always just remove some of those if it's too much. So we don't ruin the face. Maybe brush a little bit. Remove these. So the earth is without stars and some here. All right, now let's import our text. I'm just going to copy this text from the original movie. So just selecting this area, copy it and put it above all the other layers. And we can make like this text black. So I'm just press Ctrl I to invert the colors. Put this here and to remove the white, just select multiply. And as you can see, you can see this cut of it. So I'm just going to bring up the levels here. Control L or Command L. Select the white picker and press on this white area to remove that. So that is gone. And let's put this at the bottom. Do the same. Select this area. Paste it here. Let's convert this to smart object and make it smaller. And this time I'm going to change to screen. So that's the bottom part. And when you create poses, don't put like the text too close to the to the edge. It doesn't look right. And especially if you're going to print them there, you can mess it up. So make sure you have always area here left. 
enough area so I'm just gonna move this slider up and let's make this a smaller I'm gonna make smart object so I don't ruin the quality and let's make it like that all right now it looks like it's a little bit too much of this glow here so I'm just gonna select this layer and brush a little bit away so we don't ruin its face so that's better and a bit like that so not too much but just a little extra effect so yeah that is pretty much it for this one I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like this and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this so anyways see you in the next video